Hello, and in today's Five Minute Friday, I want to cover a subject that's quite important and can really trip you up in the field if you're not aware of it. And it's going to follow on from a, a, a video I did previously covering what we called setup missions, which was where you could set up a mission that doesn't actually fly, but allows you to change camera settings and so on. And as part of that, one of the, one of the problems that can occur and frequently does occur when you're out in the field is that you start the mission, the drone flies to the first start point, and then it stops with an error. Mission stopped. And that error frequently is tied to commands that are invalid or commands that are being executed that, that are just simply out of order. And therefore the, the drone is in the wrong state to execute that command. So um, I'm gonna start with this mission. I've called this mission order of operations. And we're going to jump back and forwards between the, the laptop um, and the drone link app. But let's start with this one here. I've got this, this order of operations mission here, and I've deliberately set this thing up. We've got a few things going on here. One is we've got a camera aperture set of 5.6. Um, I'm setting the camera mode or the photo mode to JPEG, an auto exposure count to three and a bunch of other stuff right and down at the bottom here we've got a we've got a start capture and if i try to run this i'm going to jump over to the to the controller now if i try to run this so i select order of operations and i hit play three two one starting mission and what you're going to find is mission stopped this fails and the, the reason it fails is it says camera aperture failed so this is one of the first reasons that you can get a failure is I'm using an Air 2S here. The Air 2S has a fixed aperture. And so by setting the camera aperture to 5.6, I'm literally telling the drone to do something that it just cannot do. And that's one of those things where DroneLink isn't necessarily going to know which camera you're going to be using when it's setting up. And so it's not going to give you necessarily a warning about that. And while we're on the subject of warnings, Take a look up here. We've got this, this little triangle up the top. And if you click on that, it gives you some warnings. Um, and if you ever see that, that triangle, I certainly recommend that you, that you pay attention to it. So here's this warning. It usually means something is not ideal. It might work, but it might not. And if you click on that, it says the file format is attempted before the stop capture. Um, issue two says camera photo file format attempted while the camera is in an unknown mode and three camera mode attempted before stop capture. So there's a bunch of different things here. We're going to fix some of these things. So I'm going to change the camera aperture. I've got two options here. One is if I think I'm going to be using it with a drone that does have a variable aperture, by all means have this there. But what I would do is I would remove the required. By removing the required, what will happen is DroneLink will try to execute that, but if it fails, it won't stop the mission. So that's number one. The other one, we've got JPEG is the file format, but we haven't set the photo mode. We've got the photo mode down here, camera mode photo, but it actually needs to be above this because you can't really set the file format if you haven't set the camera mode. So um, what can we do about that? we can move this up and there's these little arrows. So what I'm going to do here is we fix the first one, but I'm actually going to set the camera mode. I'm going to change that. And I'm going to move it all the way to the top and I'm going to say camera mode is now photo, set the camera aperture, file format of JPEG. Um, we still have a warning up here. Let's see what the warnings say. Camera mode attempted before stop capture. So, one of the things that you're going to want to do is have a stop capture should be almost always one of the first things that you do before you try changing modes or anything like that. Now I've set this up here and I've said stop capture camera mode photo aperture of 5.6, but we've set it as not required JPEG file format auto exposure count of three and the photo type of AEB. So I'm going to switch over now. And we're going to try to run this again. So go back to the controller and select it. And I'm going to say abort and reload because we've made some changes. Three, two, one, starting mission. Mission stop. Okay. 
and this one still aborted. We don't have any error message up here, but it's still aborted. And, and why did it abort? The error tells us the AEB count failed. And the AEB count failed in this case because we're setting the AEB count here, but we haven't set the photo type to AEB. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that. I'm going to move it up. And what should happen now is this should actually work now because everything looks like it's in the right order. We're setting the aperture, but it doesn't matter. We're setting the, the camera mode, the photo type, then the AEB count, and then we can do a start capture. So I'm going to dismiss this, go back, reselect, abort and reload. Three, two, one, starting mission. Mission accomplished. So there it is. So just to just to recap, when you're setting up these missions, strongly recommend that you you try them out first, bench test them as I've done here by setting up a little um, a little test mission and running it without the drone actually taking off, and then make sure that you focus on the triangle. Do everything you can to get rid of the triangle. Make sure that any commands that you have are relevant for any drone that you might be running this on. And finally, make sure that everything's in the right order. Don't try auto exposure bracket count setting before you've set the mode and so on. Anyway, I can't go into too much detail. There are so many different permutations of this, but this is the way to do it. Three options, move things to the right place, make sure that it's relevant for the drone that you have, and make sure that things are in the right order. And as long as you do that, and as long as you test it before you get out into the field, you should avoid a lot of trouble. Anyway, hope you found that useful, and I will see you in the next video.